Lucas. Lucas. Lucas, what are you going to have for breakfast? Sandwich. Sandwich. Have a sandwich for breakfast. Come here. Come sit over here. All right. We find it's easier just to let him do whatever he wants. It's fantastic parenting. It seems to work, though. It seems to work. <laughs> well, the, see, the problem Zero is discipline. these two, Callum and Ellie, they never gave us any problems whatsoever. Never, we've never had to discipline them. They're never naughty. They're, they're great kids because they take after their mother. Lucas, unfortunately, has a little little bit of me in him. So I'm a pretty easygoing father. You know, my family, my mum and dad. You know, listen, it was a loving household, but it was definitely tough times in the Bisping household. So as a father myself, I try and be uh, a little more easygoing with my children. You know, it's not easy fighting in the UFC. You know, so I'm a very demanding. Uh, husband and father. So, you know, I think she, she's basically my slave, okay? Behind every great... good man is... Yeah. Behind every good man is a good woman. Great woman. A great woman, sorry. <laughs> yeah. Michael hasn't changed since the day I met him. He's matured, obviously, you know. Um, he's grown up as a man. He was young when I met him, we both were. We were pretty much kids. We were teenagers and we were carefree and we were a bit stupid and that was part of the fun. He's still that same young guy that I met all those years ago. I'll have a little workout with Callum, do some pad work. Callum's gonna hit the bags and stuff when, uh, while, whilst I'm working out. Uh, Callum has jiu-jitsu tonight at seven. And then I come home, fall asleep, and we do it all again the next day. Yeah. We had children very young, and I was always confident that he would be an amazing father. And he is. He is an amazing dad, and he has devoted his whole life to providing for his children. <laughs> what are those guys doing right there? Yeah. They are filming. Oh, uh, what are those guys doing? Uh, they're filming about uh, about you. What? Yeah. <laughs> about me. They're filming about you because you're super cool, oh. and they know you're gonna be a superhero. They know their boundaries. They know they can push it. They know we can have a laugh. They know I'm not the most uptight guy. Bye, Ellie. Have a good day. But when it comes down to it, they have respect, and and I try and teach them the values. You know, to respect everybody, respect everybody's opinion. Come on, buddy, let's go. If you haven't got anything good to say, don't say anything at all. And um, that's about it. Film crew, interviews, dropping kids off, training. This is what happens. Sorry, I'm like, well, <laughs> oh my god. This is from then. Yeah, you just just each round yeah. do a different bag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, so like this ball, yeah. uppercuts. Different bag every round. I followed my older brother to a jiu-jitsu dojo when I was a child and I fell in love with it that way. Obviously Callum, you know, martial arts is such a big part of my life. He's always been surrounded by it and I've never forced it on him. This one you want to focus on uppercuts, hooks, knees. Yeah, okay. A bit of everything. Right. Combos. That's it. Take your time. He All loves right. tie boxing. He loves to punch. He loves to kick. He loves to spar. Um, do I want him to be a fighter? But if he wants to, when he's finished his education, when he's you know got something he can fall back on, I will fully support him 100%. You know, and uh, I would love nothing more than one day to coach him and manage him and look after him. But uh, you know, if he's doing it, he'd have to do it my way. So God help him. On your right side, Cal. There you go. Push on that leg. Push on that leg. There you go. Explode, explode, explode. Half guard. Nice. I want to wrestle. You know, I want to. Be back coming like an instructor in jiu-jitsu someday. He can't wait to get on to get to high school because he wants to get on a wrestling wanna, team. Wrestle so he wants to wrestle so bad, so but bad. you know. But you're doing the jiu-jitsu now. But this isn't my interview. No, <laughs> I'll, I'll get out of here. They have a very close bond. Um, Callum is our firstborn, and he's he's our first boy. And so uh, Michael has sculpted him into kind of another version of him. <laughs> You know, it's challenging, it's fun, it's enjoyable, you know, it's... I take pride that, you know, I know jiu-jitsu that I could, you know, hold my own in a fight and stuff. He comes home and he says, well, I'll say to him, how did you do? And he'll say, ah, oh, I got submitted three times. I got one submission myself, but I got submitted three times. And I'm like, son, that's how you learn, that's how you get better. You know, he doesn't quite see it like that, because he's 13, he's like, why are you rooting against me? I'm like, I ain't rooting against you, but in the long run, it'll be better for you. I met Rebecca, we had kids. And then the UFC started getting big, and I think fatherhood 
prepared me for my MMA career. Good job, Carl. So that's what I did, and um, you know, it was the best thing I ever did.